Hello guys, it's Hayden and I'd like to show you my one of my latest Figmas I have gotten in the past month. So this is a Frosty Black Rock Shooter number 140 from the TV animation version. I saw a few reviews up already but I don't mind filming this. So let's do this. There's a seal there. And uh, it's secured with circular tape up and down and you can kind of glimpse at to what kind of parts you're getting the variable as I call it variable black canyon the blade looks pretty darn nice from where I'm stand sitting get the alternate frame here piece Another expression, hooded hair, uh, hooded, which uh, wasn't uh, given to you on the other older version. And the main figure, along with, I believe, two stands. You have these uh, example uh, poses. So, uh, this looks uh, much better than the older one, of course. And it's about 200 yen more. If you had missed that one, I think you should grab this one for sure. So this piece is the new hooded piece and it's rubbery and slightly flexible, which is very good. I would probably loosen it a little bit. For the first time it was kind of stiff, but afterwards, all good. You got the slightly motivated, uh, mo more motivated face, and the one on the figure. On. The not motivated face. So you can see there's little to tell about her story. Going over all the other parts, might as well. The hair strands is a lot more better than the previous one. The blade, you might be able to see it, but it feels like a samurai sword that is a bit worn out. And it looks pretty darn good. The black blade and the variable canyon in the collapsed form. There's a Figma joint there, so you can plug it in. Expand. Oh, there's a joint there, so you can do a lot with it. So is it just one joint? Great, looks pretty darn good. Good amount of detail to keep you distracted in case you're not looking at the figure. There you have it. Feels like. Looks pretty darn good. So I think I will get this question soon or later. Because why are you getting the same figure of the same same character? And the main differ differentiation I could think of is the aesthetics. And here you can see she has a lot, way more uh, spikier hair. Okay, maybe I shouldn't move it. I'll just move the camera. A lot more spikier hair, rolled up sleeves, the uh, big uh, hood piece that actually made her, gave, gives her a bigger presence versus her very slim body, legs, arms. And you can see how she, the Lady, Lady Gaga influence has gave her Somewhat of a direction there. 
for the back. So she features a much uh, black and white contrast colors and uses the white as the trim around her uh, clothing pieces and so forth. And uh, I think it creates a good contrast to this uh, Batman-like character. So anything else? Tell me one thing that I can't do and you can. Wear a hooded piece, double ganger. The hooded piece is actually quite limited. So limited in movement. You can see, you can do left and right and if you do ups, it would it's very restricted. So it's good for a few poses, like maybe like this, but in the long run, you want to go for your hair piece. So just trying out some of the poses that you can do and the ability to just plug in below the canyon is a good addition. And be really careful with the handle there on the uh, manipulator hand because I actually push right through it and along with that little lever. So I'll probably need to screw it back in later on. So for now it still holds. I don't suppose she needed to do like use both hands to hold this weapon, but gave it this pose. So I'm finishing this review up with this, this pose here and uh, as far as the articulation goes it is the same uh, much like uh, any other uh, fitness that if you ever had one you know uh, what I'm talking about so and the last pose is saying you punks you don't have a big gun like me get off the streets